hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, saith the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Is Israel a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Why is he spoiled? The young lions roared upon him and yelled, and they made his land waste. His cities are burned without inhabitant. Also the children of Noth and Tehapanus have broken the crown of thy head. Hast thou not procured this unto thyself, if that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God, when he led thee by the way? The kingdom of darkness, with the help of his human agents, made the indigenous population extremely dependent on the hybrids instead of the most high. The mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church, the beast, has rewritten history in the Israelite scriptures. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, and the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. For multiple generations, the heathens has flooded the minds of the indigenous people with imagery of themselves. They removed portraits of indigenous people in prominent positions, replaced the portraits with images of themselves in leadership roles. The hybrids stole land across the world and set themselves in influential positions in nations all over the world. By flooding the minds of the indigenous population with false historical tales, the indigenous population became dependent on the hybrids. An infamous character that has played a significant part of brainwashing the minds of Israelites and indigenous people all over the world is none other than Jesus the Christ. The kingdom of darkness has built a system called religion. Through this witchcraft religion system, the hybrids were able to control indigenous people all over the world. Until this day, numerous indigenous people believe the Messiah will look like the portrait of the individual the witchcraft religion system enforced on them. Many indigenous people pray to that image, worship that image, love that image, and put all of their hopes in that false image. Israelites everywhere are known to serve this Jesus on a bigger scale than most, yet their situation remains the same. While the heathens worship the same Jesus and they continue to elevate, something is wrong. Wake up indigenous people all over the world. Their God is not your God. Only the Most High can deliver them from the spell that comes from this image that many Israelites and indigenous people have hanging on the walls in their house making it an abomination. This false character is controlling the indigenous people, causing them to stumble. If the indigenous people believe this false messiah is the most high in the flesh and their deliverer, they will place the people that look like him on a pedestal. They will automatically want to be like the hybrids because they believe they are gods. If Israelites and indigenous people would take the time to analyze their present situations, they would soon realize the people that look like that character, the kingdom of darkness portrayed as the Israelites Messiah, do not match the personality traits of the true Messiah, Yeshua, that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The real Messiah, Yahshua, said to his people, the Israelites, to love your neighbor, your brethren, the people in the Israelite bloodline, in addition to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. The people who look like the infamous image the kingdom of darkness said is the Messiah abuse you, and they are barbaric. Their characteristics do not match Yahshua. That is a major red flag. Remember, the scripture said you will know them by their fruits. The hybrids do not produce good fruits. You shall know them.
by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. The indigenous population depend on the heathen's court system to settle disputes. The indigenous population depend on the heathen's agriculture system for food. The indigenous population depend on the heathen system for shelter and clothing. The laws in the land the indigenous people live on are governed by laws made by the kingdom of darkness, supported by the hybrids. The kingdom of darkness has replaced everything the Most High gave to his people with genetically modified organisms. The purpose to break the connection the indigenous people have with their creator. If you are familiar with the tale series on this channel, you should understand that Satan has a counterfeit for everything the Most High has created for his people. In this modern day rulership by the kingdom of darkness, Satan's imitation is known as duality. The Most High has his laws, statutes, and commandments in place to govern his people. The Most High infused the lands we live on with natural food and medicine to care for his creation. The Most High has a system in place that structure the family so that his creation can multiply and subdue the earth. The Most High has created everything that his people, the indigenous population, need to survive. The indigenous population never had to go to a third party to obtain the essentials they need on a day-to-day -day basis. Israelites, if you go to the most remote places on this earth, you will find indigenous people surviving by the provision, the most high place on this earth. In addition, the skills given to the indigenous population by the most high to care for the land. The indigenous population in the most secluded places have no part in society. Are they not surviving? Israelites and indigenous people all over the world who adapted to the heathen's culture are extremely dependent on the heathen's system. They have lost the natural skills the Most High placed in them to care for themselves. The Most High command his creation to take care of the land. In addition, Yah gave his creation dominion over the earth. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Most Israelites do not possess the proper skills to survive without electricity, running water, and a grocery store. Most Israelites would not survive in a forest if they were lost. Some Israelites do not know how to identify food in a forest that is edible or poisonous. They do not have the natural skills to start a fire without modern tools. In addition, how to build a good shelter with the provision from the forest. The kingdom of darkness has mastered removing your survival instincts to depend on the kingdom of darkness for your everyday life essentials. Due to their dependency, Israelites will use every excuse they can find to defend why they have failed building their communities. Some Israelites say it is the curses. Some believe it is not our turn to rule, while other indigenous people believe it is white supremacy. If the indigenous people knew the power that is operating in them, they would not complain or make up excuses when it is time to step up. They would simply act, counter the attack, and gain victory over their enemies. The scriptures reveal to us that it is the Most High that fight for us. If we call upon the Most High to fight, who can stand before us? What nation would be able to subdue us? How many stories have you read in the scriptures showing the Most High intervening on the behalf of his people and completely annihilating our enemies? If Yah be for us, who can be against us? Too many Israelites are comfortable with the defeated mindset that they are happy nesting in their enemies' territory. Israelites, the Most High has given you power to tread down scorpions, serpents in the entire kingdom of darkness. By no means can they hurt you. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. 
If your enemies is defeating you, you have yet tapped into the great power dwelling in you. It is important to the kingdom of darkness to disable your dependency on the most high and become dependent on the heathen system supported by the kingdom of darkness. In order to keep you down as a people, they must strip you of all your skills, keep you divided because the scripture said a kingdom divided shall not stand. The heathens make sure you do not possess any economic power by owning major corporations. That way you cannot bribe politicians to make laws that help your communities. By doing this, you are at the mercies of your enemies. This is why the Asian beauty supply owners will not let an indigenous person in the hair market. The same multi-billion dollar market funded by indigenous women. They want you to lack knowledge so they can continue to make money off of you. The same goes with every heathen establishment. They do not want you to become successful. If you do, they will lose their income. They can no longer rob you. They can no longer control you. In addition, they can no longer build generational wealth for their children to build their communities. To the indigenous people of the world, it is your right by the Most High to take care and control the land he gave to your forefathers, Sham, Ham, and Japheth. You are leaders, not followers. The hybrids supported by the kingdom of darkness successfully stole your leadership through colonization. Israelites, if the hybrids belong or have any land inheritance given to them by the Most High, they would not travel the earth like a tourist. The hybrids are the only groups of people who love to travel to remote places where the indigenous people live to intrude and disturb the peace. That characteristic stems from a population who do not belong. If the hybrids belong, they would know how to coexist with the indigenous population. In addition, they would know how to live off the land provision instead of genetically modifying everything. The hybrids had to mate with the indigenous people to increase their population. Once the hybrids grew to great numbers, they overthrew the original man and took over their land. The hybrids managed to subdue the indigenous population by interfering with the surviving skills given to the indigenous people by the Most High. The kingdom of darkness replaced the natural skills given to the indigenous people with skills. The fallen angels have taught the hybrids to take possession of this earth. To research further the wicked practices, the fallen angels taught the heathens, read the book of Enoch. Fast forward to today, many Israelites are addicted to the many conveniences made available to them by the kingdom of darkness enforced by the heathens. Most Israelites do not realize those conveniences are destroying them. This is why you find many Israelites not interested in building their communities. Instead, they are highly dependent on the heathen's establishment to provide them with their daily needs. Some Israelites no longer go to the Most High for provision. They head to a heathen's establishment owned by a worker of iniquity with evil altars, tying their spirits to its altar. Instead of fighting back, most indigenous people go along with the heathen system because many indigenous people refuse to take their place. They gave the earth into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? If you refuse to lead, somebody has to lead. The same way the family unit needs the head, every family unit that do not have the head of the household anointed by the Most High to provide, protect, and lead the family, the kingdom of darkness is leading that household. Somebody has to lead, Israelites. Without the proper leadership, many families are out of order and being destroyed. Unfortunately, many of the heads of the household in the Israelite community have decided not to fight for their position and hand their family over to the kingdom of darkness to lead when they abandon their duties. Many Israelites are comfortable in their many conveniences that they will not seek the most high for their needs. Some Israelites have traded the most high for the idols of the kingdom of darkness. Has the nation changed their gods? which are yet no gods. But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Through idolatry and disobedience, a once great nation has lost its crown. Today, many Israelites are confounded by the conditions of our communities. You have to rise up as a people and make the decision to serve the Most High. When most Israelites were pagans, they were dedicated to their religion and idol. 
They would attend their religious rituals seven days a week. They spend most of their time serving a God they thought was the most high. Now that you gain the wisdom needed to overthrow the kingdom of darkness, you have to put in over a hundred percent. Remember, the scripture said, through knowledge will the just be delivered. An hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. The kingdom of darkness will attack you on a greater level because you have the knowledge to overthrow the strongholds in your life and your community. After a spiritual warfare battle, the attacks will increase because the covenants were broken. Therefore, the unclean spirits are trying to reestablish the covenants. Israelites, the attacks will never stop. This is why you have to have a made up mind to serve the most high and engage in spiritual warfare. The unclean spirits need a host. They will fight to maintain their house. They refer to you as their house. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept and garnished. Most Israelites are aware of the strategies the heathens are using to disable the awakening. What have you done to counter the attack? Commenting that you are aware of their attack is not going to help us. Faith without works is dead. YouTube use all kinds of policies to try to interrupt this channel. They shadow ban the channel. They do not send notifications. They delete subscribers. They send agents to troll the comment sections. They monitor this channel to find a way to say it's violating their policies. Yet every Saturday at 10 a.m. I post the messages. Every time they flag a video, I request a review. Every time they try to place restrictions on my videos, I appeal. When I see the troll's comments, I delete and block them. If I do not receive notifications from the channels I am subscribed to, I go to their channel or search their channel name to see if there is any new videos. I flag comments that are racist towards black women and men. I ask YouTube not to recommend channels that I'm not interested in and I send my feedback to YouTube. I do not sit around and complain. Action is required. The heathens waste no time trying to find a way to interfere with the awakening. In addition, preventing us from exposing the many lies told by them. They use the assistance of their idols to oppress you and to discourage you from doing something about your present situations. They disable many Israelites with the conveniences they put in front of you to make you depend on them for what you need. The heathens deceive you to make you believe they are on your side and helping you, but they are destroying you through convenience. Convenience such as sending you a notification one hour later that you missed the live broadcast. The convenience of building businesses in your neighborhood to take all your money and stop you from building generational wealth. When you shop at the conveniently located satanic establishments, you bring the cursed things into your house. The cursed thing is plaguing your entire household. Convenience such as a cell phone that store all your contacts and once you lose the phone or it's not charged, you do not remember anyone's phone number in case of an emergency. Convenience such as grocery stores. When the heathens decide they do not want you at their stores, they will mistreat you because they know you do not have any other options. Since most Israelites do not have the skills to farm and raise livestock, you return to their grocery store for food. Convenience such as placing a Planned Parenthood in your neighborhoods to help you sacrifice your children to Molech. Convenience such as building a religious witchcraft altar in the form of a church, temple, and synagogue in your neighborhood to keep you in sin through idolatry. Israelites, you have to examine everything with your spiritual eyes. You have to humble yourself and go before the Most High and make your petition known. Sitting around is not going to deliver you. Praying once about a situation is not going to deliver you. Remember, this is an ongoing battle until the times of the heathens are fulfilled. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Israelites, it is when you start to listen to the voice of the Most High, Yah will turn your captivity. The scriptures reveal to us in Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 1 to 3, when you start to recall the curses and blessings in the land of your captivity, if you and your children turn to serve the Most High with all of your heart and mind, listen to his instructions via the Holy Spirit dwelling in you and his words, then the Most High will reverse your captivity, fight for you, and restore you. 
and it shall come to pass, when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee, and shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity, and have compassion upon thee, and will return, and gather thee from all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. If we remain at the bottom, it is because we are not listening nor following the instructions of the Most High. The Most High wants to deliver his people. You have to cry out to the Most High. Do not listen to the message and not apply what you learn. You have to fight back with the help of the Holy Spirit. If the kingdom of darkness is defeating you, then you need to examine yourself. Those conveniences are disabling you. When we see a shift into our favor, that is indicating the Israelites that have gained knowledge of their identity are applying what they have learned. They are in tune with the Most High. In addition, they are fighting back properly. Israelites, let the Holy Spirit ignite the fire in you to seek your Father and ask your Father to intervene. Do not become comfortable being led by the kingdom of darkness and the heathens. You are natural born leaders. You did not have to steal, kill, and destroy to gain power. This was a command by the Most High for you to rule over every creeping thing on this earth. It is time that you seek the Most High to regain control of the land that was given to you by the supreme ruler of all, the Elohim of Israel. And David spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, the Lord is my rock, and my fortress, and my deliverer. The God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my high tower, and my refuge, my savior. Thou savest me from violence. I will call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies, 